So uh, what's up guys, Entry here by Nino Rukwaji and welcome back to a video of Call of Duty Warzone 2. Yeah, that's right, it's finally my first Warzone 2 video. And the funny thing is that all the gameplay you guys are going to watch today after I show you guys the class setups has been in my vault for like, oh, at least a month. You know, I did this pretty much when Bird's Eye was working, they haven't taken it out of the game. Obviously, I changed the perk packages in the loadouts that I'm going to show you guys because they've kind of changed Bird's Eye. But I mean, all of this is kind of irrelevant until Season 2 where a lot of things are going to change. But I thought for my first Warzone 2 video, I would show you guys the number one Fennec 45 class setup that I used and the number one RPK class setup. So I'm going to show you guys two guns and you guys already know you pretty much buy one loadout drop so you get one of the guns and then that way you keep all your perks and you don't have to run overkill because you can easily just buy another gun for three grand or whatever the case is. So I buy either my Fennec 45 first or my RPK first, uh, you know, with the loadout drop or without the loadout drop and then I get the other gun uh, through the other means. So yeah, that's uh, that's what I want to show you guys in today's video. I will speak my thoughts about Warzone 2 and especially Season 2 and why I haven't uploaded Warzone 2 that much here in Season 1. And But that will be in the gameplays. Right now, I just want to give you guys the class setups and the loadouts. And then you guys can enjoy the gameplays and my commentary and see why I don't think Warzone 2 is, is doing too well right now. But once Season 2 rolls around, there will be a ton of Warzone 2 content on this channel. So if you guys are excited to see the Warzone 2 gameplays and the best Fennec 45 class setups and the best RPK class setups you guys can rock in Warzone 2, just like, I, just like I do here in today's video, make sure you guys drop a like in the video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. Also, here's the comment gang. You guys are always showing so much love here on the More Hero channel, even though I don't upload every single day. And if you want to be subscribed to the More Hero channel, make sure you guys expect Warzone 2 gameplay, store bundles, and other miscellaneous videos that you guys won't see on my main Hero channel. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and show you guys what I rock here in Warzone 2. So when it comes to the Fennec 45 here, uh, what I end up using is the Syngard MKV muzzle, which is going to help a ton with sound suppression, bullet velocity, damage range, and recoil smoothness. All of these attributes allow the Fennec 45 to have a faster time to kill up close, and it helps extend its range a little bit in case I need to. So this is a very powerful muzzle, and I recommend it highly uh, with the attributes that it has. For our next attachment, we're running the laser of the 1MW Quickfire Laser, and this is the one that only gives you ADS speed. If you guys watch my multiplayer videos on my main channel, you guys know that I really vouch for the VLK LZR7MW. And the reason why I don't really vouch for it here in Warzone 2 is because it also gives your position away with the laser being visible in ADS. But the 1MW Quickfire Laser doesn't really give you that con. You know, when you aim down sides with this thing, you still don't see a laser. So that's a good thing. You know, you're equipping a laser, but people can't see your laser. And this is really nice in terms of stealthy gameplay because Warzone 2 is a lot more campy than multiplayer. And for that, I have to play a little bit more stealthy at times. So uh, that's why I only need the extra ADS speed. I don't really need the sprint to fire speed in Warzone 2, especially because there's, you know, a higher time to kill because we have armor plates and stuff like that. So you don't really need the LZR MW in Warzone 2 uh, you know, like I do here uh, in multiplayer. So 1MW Quickfire Laser, most of you should have it at this point. It's a really nice attachment and will help you in gunfights. For the optic, I like running the Slimline Pro. I don't mind the iron sights on the Fennec. I mean, you can obviously go without the optic. I just want to use it for that extra little bit of accuracy and making sure that I can see my opponents clearly because Warzone 2 can get a little blurry at distances or even up close sometimes, especially in like the darker corners. So that's why I run the Slimline Pro. For a magazine, of course, we gotta rock the Fennec Mag 45 to have, to have as much ammo as possible. And for our last attachment, we got the Fennec Stippled Grip for that extra recoil control, so this gun can be a lot more easily controlled and we can get some longer range kills. If you wanna know about the tuning about the Fennec 45, because this by itself is already a really nice class setup, we can make this class even better through the use of optimized tuning. Then, in terms of tuning, we got recoil smoothness at 0.54 ounces weight, maximizing this recoil smoothness so this gun can be even more accurate across range. And on the bottom slider, we got aiming aisle stability at negative 0.35 inches length, really maxing out aiming aisle stability so that this gun, you know, because this gun doesn't need that much bullet velocity because we're using it up close, we don't need bullet velocity. We want it to be as accurate as possible for potentially longer range kills and more likely the closer range kills. So uh, definitely rock these tunings. For the Slimline Pro tunings of the Optic here, on the left side we got ADS speed to negative 1.35 ounces weight, allowing ADS speed to be super snappy. And on the bottom side, we're actually going to do close because we're going to be more so uh, closer situations. This will, this will make the gun look a little bit bigger, but we got that optimal sight so that we can see our opponents and, you know, 
pretty much be as snappy as possible with them. So honestly, the position on the bottom doesn't really matter, but I like running it close for Warzone 2. And finally, for our last attachment, we can tune on the Fennec 45. We got the Fennec Stippled Grip Rear Grip, and we got the left slider being maxed out in terms of ADS speed, uh, funny enough. Even though you could probably just, uh, you know, max it out here at negative 0.74 ounces weight. I just liked running it maxed out, but it's up to you however you want to run it. Um, and in terms of sprint to fire speed, you can either just leave it here at negative 0.11 inches width or max it out at negative 0.45. Either tune, you know, works it the way it does, but this is the optimal tunings for the Fennec 45. And yeah, this is the Fennec 45. It's beautiful up close. It legit shreds anything up close. And this is what you're gonna be using at short to medium ranges. And now let me show you guys the RPK class that I use, which is perfect for long range kills or medium range if you need to as well. So when it comes to the RPK here, we got the Zulu 60 muzzle, which is gonna give us sound suppression, bull velocity, recoil smoothness, and recoil control. And these are all amazing attributes because this allows the, the RPK to be a lot more accurate at longer ranges. Plus you get that sound suppression to appear off the new map anytime you shoot, if they have a UAV or whatever the case is. But most importantly, that bull velocity is what you need so that your bullets can connect at farther ranges because Warzone 2, as you guys know, is way longer ranges than in multiplayer. So you need as much bullet velocity on your guns as possible. And that's what the Zulu 60 really provides for you. So I definitely recommend this more than any other attachment. For our underbarrel, we actually use the Edge 47 grip because it gives you the maximum recoil stabilization and aiming out stability. Just putting this attachment on will allow you to pretty much be as accurate as possible for longer range kills. And that's what you especially need here in Warzone 2. For ammunition, we gotta run that 7.62 high velocity ammunition because once again, it maxes out your bullet velocity and that's what you really need for long range kills here on Warzone 2. So allowing that bullet velocity to happen allows us to hit our opponents a lot more easily along a range and allows us to win more gunfights. For our laser, we got the Shalazer PQ Box 4, which is just going to give us ADS speed. Very similar, like you guys know me, if you guys watch multiplayer videos, I love the OV laser because it gives you all these attributes, but you also get that con of your, AD, of your laser being visible in ADS. And this laser doesn't really give you that. So you'll still have some snappy ADS speed. Just won't be as snappy as usual, but it's all good because you're gonna be countering opponents on longer ranges with the RPK rather than up close. So you really don't need the OV laser here in Warzone 2. It's a must in multiplayer in my opinion. But here in Warzone 2, just run the laser PEQ box for, and this RPK won't feel too heavy in your hands. And finally, for our optic, we need something that can see, obviously, at longer ranges, and that's where we're using the AIM at OPV4, which is gonna give you that amazing sight picture so you can see opponents at longer ranges and beam them down with this beautiful freaking sight. And there you guys have it, the best attachments for the RPK, but we can make this class even better through the use of optimized tuning. So when it comes to tuning the Zulu 60 muzzle here, on the left side, we got recoil smoothness at 0.72 ounces weight, maximizing that recoil smoothness so this is going to be even more accurate across range. And then we got the aiming aisle stability at the bottom at negative 0.52 inches length. And you don't lose that much bullet velocity either, allowing this going to be extremely accurate at range with less sway and more aiming aisle stability. Next up, when it comes to tuning our Edge 47 grip here, on the left slider, we got recoil stabilization maximized at 0.23 ounces weight. This is gonna allow the RPK to be very accurate across range and you won't lose that much ADS speed either. And on the bottom side, we got aiming out stability at 0.34 inches length, maximizing that stability so this gun can be even more powerful at longer ranges and you won't lose that much aim walking speed either. Though that's not really necessary at longer ranges. When it comes to tuning the 7.62 high velocity ammunition, on the left side, we got recoil smoothness at negative 0.54 grams weight, allowing our recoil smoothness to be even more maximized and allow this gun to do even better at longer ranges. And you won't lose that much damage range at this optimized point. And on the bottom side, we got recoil steadiness at negative 2.03 grams load, allowing you to, to pretty much be a lot more accurate across range once again. And you don't lose that much bullet velocity. We already got our bullet velocity boosted by this attachment by itself and the muzzle. So these sacrifices are worth it to make this gun a little bit more accurate. And finally, for the last attachment we can tune, we got the AIM OP V4 Optic. And on the left slider, we got flinch resistance at 1.06 ounces weight, pretty much maximizing that flinch resistance so that we, when we hit, when we take shots, we don't shrug off too much off of target, especially along the ranges that could be very key in winning gunfights. And on the bottom side, we got it all the way too far at negative 1.65 inches eye position, allowing this gun to pretty much look a little bit more smaller and we could be more accurate when we see our opponents. Once again, it's a debate if you want to move it more towards the closer or the far range here. It's pretty much personal preference, but when it comes to longer ranges, I like having it at far so I can see a little bit more of my, 
you know the, the map a bit and i can see a little bit more of my opponents but if i wanted to see my opponent a little bit more closely i could just move it up to close if i really wanted to but i recommend far it comes in really freaking clutch but uh yeah that is my long range beast for the rpk so yeah the rpk and the fennec legit take over warzone 2 for me and i got th three amazing gameplays to show you guys and keep in mind i am not the best warzone 2 player i'm definitely a lot more better in multiplayer but i believe that with the limited amount of time that i played in warzone 2 but enough to know the game enough i've got some pretty good gameplays and that's what i'm going to explain to you guys why i haven't really played warzone 2 that much for season one but in warzone 2 i'll definitely playing a, be playing a ton when it comes to ashika island and resurgence and all the new guns are going to be added into warzone 2 as well so if you're excited for warzone 2 content for me expect a lot more on this channel as well as the store bundles and anything else that i've already been uploading uh, on this channel so we're gonna have a fun time here in season two uh but i thought for today's video you guys could hear my reactions and my thoughts to season two warzone 2 and why warzone 2 was really a big flop for the first season here of warzone 2 anyways that's enough of me talking you guys are gonna hear me talk a little bit more but over some gameplay and uh try out these loadouts if you guys want to enjoy the last week of season one here and uh see if they uh you know they do well for you but anyways without further ado let's go ahead and go into a gameplay and show you the rest of them let's rock and roll so here we are with some warzone 2 solos gameplay and this legit was the first ever warzone 2 solos gameplay that i recorded well i recorded but i wasn't in, like imagining me like actually posting this because i didn't think i was going to do too well so I didn't have face cam on or anything like that. I was just playing silent while my girlfriend was watching something on the TV. So I legit didn't have any commentary. So that's why I'm doing this commentary or this Warzone 2 gameplay because I did really well. But anyways, why have I not liked Warzone 2 uh, this whole entirety of Season 1? And why am I looking forward to it in Season 2 where you guys will definitely see more Warzone 2 gameplay as well? Uh, Warzone 1, as you guys might know, or Warzone 2, as you guys know here in Season 1 when it launched just not good the mechanics and the whole philosophy they try to go with this uh game it just doesn't uh fit cod br players for me they made warzone 2 initially for the true hardcore br fans which that's cool and dandy and all but there's a whole bunch of other brs people could be playing that are traditional brs like fortnite Apex is a little bit less traditional, you know, they have their own thing going on, you know, Fortnite's a little bit different in the sense that it does have building, you know, there was, uh, you know, things like PUBG, you know, H1Z1, was that technically a battle royale? It's just, there's been so many battle royales, so why would you want this game to be more like them, and not more like Warzone 1, which really established an identity with this game, in my opinion, through the use of easy to loot loadouts so that everybody has their own gun at start You're good in the game, bro. and that people can pretty much use what they want and have it immediately so they can rock and roll in the game that, that's the way i see it is this the uh, warzone was success just not just because of the pandemic but because warzone one was kind of unique you know it was simple it, it wasn't all like complicated and you didn't have to loot every little specific thing you know blackout in my opinion would not have been as successful as warzone 1 it probably would have had the same warzone 2 effect where like because it's new i think people would like warzone 2 if it was you know made in terms of blackout you know it being the first br because people really like blackout because it was the first br warzone 1 re refined whatever features blackout 1 had sort of put into the game and made it more like a cod br giving it more of a mainstream appeal warzone 2 tried to go back to like a blackout sort of battle royale you know back during black ops 4 but that's a regression you want to move forward in my opinion and now go back to these uh to this br that was good but not great in my opinion warzone 1 was great the way it was and warzone 2 was a step down and that's just that's just to me really pissed me off like the main things that pissed me off here in season one was uh <laughs> this is still going to be a problem in season two but the lack of uav buys like you couldn't you can't buy multiple uavs at multiple buy stations you can only buy one uav per buy station and this is an absolute killer in warzone solos which is what i like playing you know for anybody that watched me on my main channel i played verdansk solos i played rebirth solos i love fortune's keep solos because it's just my type of vibe it's hard for me to find people to play with and i'd rather honestly play by myself so that's the way uh, any mistakes i make are mostly on my own except in warzone 2 where most of the mistakes are just because of the game being really bad in my opinion 
Uh, and UAVs, they really help combat the very slow pacing that Warzone 2 has. You know, the movement is different, but I don't really care about the movement personally. It's just, uh, you can combat the movement by just knowing where people are. You know, you body people, you take their cash, you go to a buy station, UAV it, and then you find somebody else, you know, that's pinged by the UAV, body them, maybe body another person, but usually after the, that one or two kills and by looting a little bit, you have another, you have more money for another UAV. And you kind of keep things recycling that way. And that's what made Warzone 1 solos really, really fun. But you can't have that same effect on Warzone 2 solos because you have to be lucky that you find a UAV. You, know, you can do all these strongholds and stuff, but the AI are stupid. That's another thing I didn't like in this game. The AI, they just get in the way. You sometimes think that they're regular opponents. You guys will see at the end of this gameplay, I, I confuse like fighting going on. Uh, and they were AI at, at the final circle too. We're like near the final circle. It was really stupid. So AI really just ruined uh, Warzone solos for me. The lack of UAV buys. Uh, before the holiday update, you couldn't even buy loadouts from the buy station. That was when Warzone 2 is really fucking garbage. You couldn't even buy loadouts. You had to actually just wait for the loadouts to drop or do the strongholds, which is, which is all in my opinion, I don't wanna have to do all that crap. I just wanna have enough money, get my load out, and then also buy my guns. You know, the buying guns was a nice addition, but it shouldn't have been the main way to get your guns. Loadouts, in my opinion, should be the main way to get your weapons, because that's really optimizing your customization and using your own weaponry uh, and all the perks that are, were in this game. Uh, the lack of customizable perk packages also ruined Warzone 1. Or Warzone 2, I should say. It's so confusing because it's we're about to go. To, we're in season one of Warzone 2. We're about to go to season two of Warzone 2, which should hopefully be better. But um, yeah, the lack of customizable perk packages. I don't like that they set, you know, strict perk packages because it, it. One thing, okay, to let you guys know, I hated World War 2, and the number one thing that I hated COD World War 2 for was the lack of customizable. Pretty much the lack of customization. You can only choose like one perk or whatever, and then one division, and you couldn't like mix and match. Them. It was really stupid until the overhaul where they made it a bit better. And that was the same reasoning I had here in Warzone 2. I can't customize my perks until Warzone 2 Season 2, which is gonna be nice. But here in Season 1 is just all these customized perk packages. I don't feel comfortable using any of them. I wanna use my own stuff and let me, you know, play the way that I want. So that was another reason. It's just, there's a lot of combination of factors that really uh, led this game down for me. Uh, the, another main reason, the cash. There's hardly any cash to find on the map. Uh, you had to try really hard to find cash. And even when you did find cash, it would not be enough to let you get your loadout fast or buy UAV fast. But I'm really excited because they're doing a lot of economy changes. Uh, in Warzone 2 Season 2, from the sounds of it, I think they're probably going to lower, like, uh, costs at the buy station, I believe they said in the blog post. And, uh, I, like, the number one thing is going to be, like, the UAV buys, but it's all good if I can get my guns quickly and then get some UAVs somehow, you know, through looting, you know, boxes or just buying them quickly at the buy station before anybody else does. But, uh, yeah, I think, I think that's a good summary of things that I hate. I guess also the super fast time to kill... And the ability to not have three armor plates at the start because you can get insta melted by any gun that people find. I didn't like that. So the fact that they're changing that, that where you have three armor plates now, or the ability to have three armor plates, you don't have to look for like an armor vest or the third plate or whatever. Because uh, the time to kill on this game is already super fast. So only having 200 health by default instead of 250 was a drag. But I'm glad they're making that change as well. Uh, so they're, they're changing a lot of things like. A lot of the things that I had problems with in Season 1 are going to be fixed in Season 2, which I'm happy about. So, to summarize, I didn't like Season 1 because of uh, lack of UAV bias, which is still not going to be fixed in Season 2, but could be kind of mitigated in Resurgence because I can eliminate opponents and get those UAV pings, which is nice. So, it might be nice in uh, in Resurgence, but it's not, they're not going to have solos, I think, but in the beginning, but I hope they do. But, um, yeah. Uh, lack of loadouts until the holiday update, which they fix immediately, thankfully. Lack of cash. Uh, the slow movement, or the slow gameplay of Warzone 2. Which is further, you know, freaking demoralized by the fact that you can't buy multiple UAVs. That's why I recommend having multiple UAVs at buy stations, or mul unlimited UAVs at buy stations. So, I don't have to be f looking for freaking slugs in the corners and stuff. 
Um, what else? Uh, the vehicles, it's a change that I don't like that they made from Warzone 1 where you had to, like, refuel them and stuff. But I can live with it. That's a change that I don't mind. I just wish it wasn't in the game. But, um, yeah, I think it's the economy, the kind of the time to kill, the lack of unlimited UAV buys... And just, uh, just more things to, to make the gameplay a little bit more faster paced. But it seems like they're fixing a lot of that. So I think Warzone 2 Season 2 is going to at least be playable. A lot more playable. Like, I, I don't do too bad right now. Like, you guys will see in this gameplay. Like, I'm body in fools. I'm using the strats that I learned in Warzone 1 and still using them here in Warzone 2. It's just not as effective because I got to be kind of paranoid and hope that somebody's not around the corner. Like, right here. I know somebody's around. I know there's a sniper over there. But I know there's going to be somebody that could, somebody just drove this car, right? So I'm like, okay, let me drive this car. Oh, it has no fuel. Why am I here? So I'm like, oh, yeah, I saw him. I saw him on the, the left. I'm going to go ahead and rush this dude. And bam. Love the panic, man. I still got the gun game on this game, bro. It's just, I was good in Warzone 1. I'm going to be all right in Warzone 2. I just, not in my full potential because of how much they nerfed rushing in this game. And I just, I hate all the people on Twitter that are like, oh no, we can't have unlimited UAVs. But there shouldn't be multiple UAVs because there's too sweaty. Bruh, don't you want to make the gameplay more faster paced? I'd rather people rush me than camp out, or at least I have the ability to rush out the campers, you know? This is why I think multiple UAV buys are important, but it is what it is. But I think everything else should make up for the problems that were faced here in Warzone 2 Season 1. And I'm really excited to see how Warzone 2 Season 2 plays. I'm excited for Sheik Island. The only thing... What's the thing I have a problem with right now? Like, I don't mind the, the UAV. Uh, the only thing I, I'm scared of is that they're not going to have Resurgent Solos in the beginning. And I'd rather play Resurgent Solos than having to deal with randoms on, like, Resurgent Quads. Because I'm they're most likely only going to have quads, which is going to be such a drag. And I don't want to play with you because that means I won't get, you know, decently high kill gameplays. But maybe you guys don't care about the high kill gameplays. Like... Is like a 15 kill gameplay good for you guys? A 14 kill gameplay? Maybe my funny editing will make things a little bit better. But that's pretty much uh, the things that I'm faced with right now. But um, otherwise, I'm excited for a Sheik Island. I'm excited for Resurgence. I might even do the regular Warzone, you know, Almazra, because I actually don't mind it. I play well with it, as you guys can see here in the the gameplay. This gameplay you're watching right now, and the two gameplays I'm gonna show you guys. This will probably be a long video, so hope you guys don't mind. Most, I think most of the videos on this channel are gonna be like one gameplay, and then showing you guys the class setups or whatever. And I'll try to be more fast about it. Just for this video, I kind of want to be more in depth about it, and let you guys might let you guys know my thoughts and show you guys that I can play Warzone 2 pretty well. It's just the uh, the way people play it makes it annoying. But um, yeah, after this, you guys will see basically how I would edit a Warzone 2 video and the gameplays that you guys are gonna see. I got some gameplays uh, while um, playing off stream and one gameplay I actually got on stream as well, which is pretty exciting as well. Just um, I really enjoy Warzone 2. There's not too much to the extent of Warzone 1, and I really hope that Warzone 2 Season 2 will remind me of those great times in uh in warzone one though i don't think that's gonna be the case for most people sadly because a lot of people have already jumped ship unfortunately so i'll have to wait and see i guess but um yeah to see, see so what the heck was shooting at me right there you know what i mean i was really confused here so i'm like it's decently accurate i lost almost all my plates so i'm like was that a real player or was that like yeah it has to be a real player because i don't expect ai to be in the game just yet Oh yeah, AI. I really hate AI. It looks like they're nerfing AI, I think. Hopefully, in uh, in Season 2. But, yeah, here we go. I, I was over here rushing a dude because I was like, oh, it's not a real player. Oh, that's cool. Oh, is this a real player? Nope, it was not a real player. So it's like, why are they AI in almost the final circles here? I don't understand that. Like, I don't even know who's shooting. I don't know if these are bots shooting each other or whatever the case is, so... Yeah, there's just uh, a lot of problems here. I think I saw this dude's like sniper scope or I saw him like on the, the compass or something. So that's how I knew this dude was here. It was an easy rush out here, so easy money right there. So like I'm telling you guys, my, my map awareness is just as good in Warzone 2 as it is in multiplayer. But it's just like sometimes if I don't see somebody camping, they'll be really hard to make a play. But right here, I just grab the car. It's like in Warzone 1 solos, you know, vehicles are really key to winning. Just make sure you have a fully uh, fueled car. Right there, it was another AI, bro. <laughs> like, I don't know who the real players are anymore. I was so confused here, bro. Like I said, I enjoy this game. It's just the little things just made this game so annoying to play. So, season two should be a lot better. Right here, I outplay the fuck out this dude. Just 
easy money out here, Brian. I really can't wait to, to see what weapon balancing happens here in Warzone to make the Fennec a little bit less powerful. We can use other freaking SMGs. Right now, the, the Fennec is just destroying everything. It's beautiful. But, uh, yeah. Here we have, I think it's the last three people. Me and two other people. So I thought I had the win in the bag here. Like, legitimately. I was like, I have the best spot on the map. Like, I don't know where anybody else is at. I'm just like, they should pop out at some point, right? So I finally see the dude in the distance right here, I think. After calling this streak. So I'm like, where the fuck is the other dude? Let me get into a safer spot. But right here, this is this COD time. Look, look at it. Look, look. <laughs> That's just how life goes sometimes. I legit could have a good W to show you guys, but I had to die a second place with 15 kills. Anyways, that's enough of me talking. We're gonna have two more gameplays to show you guys. This video will probably be like 40 minutes or 50 minutes, hopefully less. I'll try to shorten them. But let me know if you guys are excited for Warzone 2 gameplay on the channel. Let me know if you're excited for Season 2. I know I am. And uh, let me know if you guys like for Resurgence in Warzone 1 and if you're excited to see it back here in Warzone 2. Anyways, I freaking love you guys and enjoy the rest of the video. You guys are freaking amazing. I love you all. So here we are playing some Call of Duty Warzone 2 solos. We rock and rolling with the, um, with the Fennec and the RPK. It's hopefully going to be my first Warzone 2 video. I actually got a really nice gameplay earlier, but, you know, I didn't really have my mic on or anything. So, uh, hopefully we can make some real damage happen here. We need a gun, which we don't have. This dude is going to kill me. Can I get like an actual gun or something, bro? That'd be really sweet right now. There we go. Okay, we're in business now. Seems like there's a decent amount of people around. I hear this, dude. I'm really scared of like... Hold on. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody was shooting before. I'm trying to play really carefully here. It's real life for now. I don't know. The thing about... The thing I really don't like about this game... Is the audio just seems messed up on this game. Like, see? Whatever gas just happened. Like, I don't even hear the dude coming through anywhere. Like, I don't have no idea where this dude is coming from. I'm just here to kind of assume, like... Surprise, motherfucker! Okay, we're good right now. I think he left the game instantly. He didn't even freaking bother for the, uh, gulag. Like, I don't know, it's just, it's just a guessy game, it feels like, half the time I play this game. Like, I legit have to pray that I... That I somehow play well out here, you know? I wish I didn't have so much anxiety playing this game, but... Hey, we got three kills already, so that's a good start. We can just go straight for the uh, buy station to get a gun, but... I'll try to take out this... Person first. Hopefully. We're just gonna have to scout them out or something. See where they're at. They're probably in that building low-key. We gotta watch out, because we don't know who else could be. Oh my goodness. See if we can find him. Any ammo? Okay, we got the ammo. Okay, we got our bounty too. This is good. Got a gas mask. He's hiding around. He's on my left over here. No, bitch. Bro, this is a death valley, bro. Literally. I don't like this spot at all, bro. Screw this. Let's just go over here. This guy's a loud ass mic. I think it's a dude over here. I don't think it's a sniper, dude. Okay, I, do 
I do want to body everybody I'm here good. though. Hey. Guys. But these dudes got some loud ass fucking mics, bro. Uh, There's some somebody over there? Uh oh. Oh no! Please! But somebody's Don't over this. there. Don't, Don't do this. Oh, don't do this, please don't do this. I know you. People way too play way too campy on this stupid ass game, bro. It's so fucking annoying. Like I must arriba, arriba. play against this, bro. Literally. Well, let's see how we do on this freaking gulag. We we had a really good start too, which is what hurts me. Easy, bruh. We don't lose these gulags, bruh. We already have seven kills. We're not too bad at this game. This is when people play like losers, bruh. I legit don't know how to play against them because they're loser like, you know? They are here. Hopefully, you guys find some good loot here. Otherwise, we'll grab the Fennec and then we're going for armor, I guess, or something. I don't know. We'll have to find out. Already, somebody trying to kill me, bruh. That's beautiful. Try it, buddy. See, I don't know. The, the, the reason why I lose on this game, too, is because legit the audio on this game is like terrible, bro. It's just so weird to me. Can I sell anything? No, not really. Okay, there's still a UAV here, though. Honestly, I might just say screw it and buy a UAV. Oh, wow, that works too. An LMG. Oh, we gotta move. Is that a person? Of course, it's a freaking bot, bruh. Well, I'm not surprised. You tried, buddy. Give me that attack 56 real quick. Oh, he had his own loady. Okay, I like that. We could get an RPK here very soon. If I kind of want to get enough money for the UAV, and then we can make some real moves happen. We got nine kills already, which is actually not too shabby. I don't even know if I'll upload this. Sorry, buddy. I'm being tracked, though. That's fun. You got enough for UAV. You should probably grab a UAV. Is it 4K? I think it's 4K. And we're kind of a ways away from the freaking. So far, we're playing pretty well. Is this dude? He's a dude who has a bounty on me. I'm telling you, just just a little bad at the game, buddy. Bro, I just freaking finished, bro. Okay, they're the ones that took my shit. Okay. At this point, we'll go ahead and grab our RPK. And, uh, should we get a gas mask? Then we should get a gas mask to be safe. I think we got everything here. Yeah, we got as much as we could. Let's make some moves. We already got 12 kills. We're doing pretty good, actually. Not too bad. Let's chase this dude. I'll take this car. I gotta fucking move though. Got 13 kills. We held it down. Haha, <laughs> this might be our first Warzone 2 video, man. I do have another gameplay where I got a 15 kill game, but I choked second place. This is all really, really good. We can get a 20 bomb here. Or a solos gameplay? That's pretty solid on this big freaking map. And it being Warzone 2 and not Warzone 1. We're not too shabby for ourselves. I do miss the Verdansk days though. Verdansk days were a lot more fun than whatever this is, but... Can't lie, I am kind of enjoying myself right now. If they could just uh, allow us to have unlimited UAVs at the buy stations, I'd feel right at home again. And maybe some more cash around the area too. 
But that's just, that's just my opinion on everything. Let me know how you guys would improve the Warzone 2. If there's anything specific you would uh, personally add or take away from this game. Literally no cash everywhere, bro. Whenever they do give you cash, it's like a little bit. I also do wish that they would increase the time to kill as well. I didn't mind the Warzone 1 time to kill. Even before they increased it, because it still felt like nothing really like killed you. But in this game, it feels like you legit die at the in the blink of an eye, bro. How do you get your loadout? No, wait. Is it in my backpack? Okay, so equip. Okay, there you go. And then we can uh, get the hell out of here. So just put on the Fennec for our perks. Here's the RPK. And I think we should be good. We got 13 kills, there's 39 people left. We get a pretty high kill game if we get lucky here. People hiding up. I don't know what was locking on to me. Good thing got the fuck out of there though. He's hella one shot, we need to push that. Sorry buddy. Fennec and RPK power. You have a precision? Oh, wait, he has a UAV as well. Okay, he's up top. There's a couple people up top. He's still alive. Is this dude in the sky or something? Okay, we need to get the hell out of here. This spot is not safe. No, oh, of course, right? Don't know if this is the smartest idea. Yeah, screw that, Loki. Okay. Right now, what we gotta do is find out how to live. And there's gonna be moments like these where we're really gonna need the RPK to, like, clutch up. I'm not a sniper, so I don't use snipers. You know, that, that could be for you guys. But their QK should uh, tr treat me pretty well. Plus, we have armor box. We should be fine. At least for a little bit here. <coughs> okay, we know where he's at, at least. He has a riot shield, though, like a loser. We have a Semtex, though, so we can use that to our advantage here pretty soon. Bro, where the fuck is this kid going, bro? He's legit on the edge of the map, just playing like a weirdo. Look at him, bro. Who plays like that, bro? I'm gonna end you. Warzone 2 for you. Unlimited UAVs don't exist. I freaking tried my best. This could have been a 20 kill game, but but people will have to play fucking weird on this game. This dude barely got three kills. Like I don't know what to tell you guys. But hope you guys enjoyed. For our first Warzone 2 video, I think a 15 is a W for me. Especially on this big freaking map. Um let me know what you guys think about uh Warzone 2. Still kind of salty myself, but at least I played pretty well. So I really freaking love you guys. Let me know if you guys want to see more Warzone 2 and try out this Fennec and RPK combo. Pretty freaking nice. I freaking love you guys. Hey teammate, you better come in clutch, homie. What are you doing, homie? Like...
Come on, buddy. Garbage, bro. Garbage. I don't even play Warzone 2. Put on our car and... Somebody... Oh! <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, homie? What the fuck are you doing? Fuck you. <laughs> what do you have? Rap H? I think I'd rather have the Rap H, though. I think it's on build. We need to get our own build, though. You need to get up to, to there or something. Okay, I'm gonna get the Fennec one for now. And then we'll get my RPK from here. Okay. You got the RPK and the Fennec. Oh, shit. Let's fucking go, big ballers. Okay, somebody calling the UAV. Oh, he's fucked low key. He's trying to challenge somebody, or somebody's challenging him, and he's smoking for a good reason here. It was the kid who killed me earlier. This was the fucking kid who killed me earlier. Be from there, but might not be the wave. Where's your buddy at, bro? He's right below, I'm guessing. Pinche basura, mierda. Okay. Uh, let's get this UAV. I hope there's a UAV here anyway. I don't know, though. <laughs> And there is a UAV. We got fucking lucky. Let's fucking go. Breaking Bad is just too goaded, bro. Literally. What'd you get for camping, you fucking weirdo? You really tried to snipe me, homie. Yo, put that sniper away, kid. My accuracy, was, my accuracy was looking a little terrible, but at least he got mad. That dude was hella mad though. You guys like the rages? Yeah, this might be our first ever Warzone 2 video right here on the second channel. I know they're all over here. Oh, thank goodness. Bro, Bird's Eye is really fucking good, bro. Holy shit. I love... I didn't think somebody would be all the way up there, bro. I gotta look up at the sky sometimes. I know there's a jetpack in, but... There you go. I got body by... I cheated on my girlfriend, bro. GG, bro. We're doing so good, too. We had 14 kills and everything. Actually insane, bro. I did not expect him to be playing like that. I'm not bad at Warzone, too. I could upload Warzone 2 if I really wanted to, but the amount of time it took to even get that this gameplay and then have it be a choke at the end, you know? I could have gotten like two MGB nukes right there in that amount of time. So it's just easier for me to upload nukes like crazy on multiplayer and upload that. But I do want to start uploading at least like one Warzone 2 gameplay per day on the second channel or something. Because I can do it, you guys saw. Like I could upload that. That was a decent gameplay enough where I'm like... That might be uploadable. We had some really good moments and we played it really well. That's what I would do in Warzone 1 anyways. I, I, I wasn't getting like 20 bombs at first and shit, but, but we made the gameplays entertaining through the editing and all the action like that, so. Definitely expect Warzone 2 gameplay on the second channel. Uh, Just most likely in Season 2 because the Resurgence is going to be a lot more fast-paced. Matches will be shorter. And I'll be able to like upload it a little bit more voice crack and then you guys will see warzone 2 setups for me too because i can do both i can do multiplayer i can do warzone 2 we uh we did well but hopefully you guys enjoyed it that was a nice like game to end on i wish i got the w though i was feeling really good too it just is what it is you know uh